Welcome to Servant of the Fates. Today's pick a card reading is all about your week ahead. Pick the card that sparks a memory in you. It has your message. Guidelines below on how to do just that. Feel free to pause this video as you take your pick. As always, timestamps down below. And let's begin. If you chose the first card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. So, this week, it's not going to be a good one for love, but it's going to be an amazing one for money. Monday, Tuesday, there is this energy of a new love or a potential new lover. He or she is represented by the King of Pentacles. So, this is someone quite financially stable, and not just that, but also stable and secure in who they are. Someone who believes that they're attractive, that they're intelligent, someone with good self-worth. Probably someone you kind of look up to. And with the Ace of Cups here, either this person is new in your life or you've known them for quite some time, but it is the first time that you're looking at them as a potential lover. Or it's the first time that you or, you know, either of you is showing any interest in the other person romantically, flirtatiously, so to speak. And it's all going well. Monday, Tuesday, things are fine. You have yellow in these cards, right? King of Pentacles and Ace of Cups. Yellow is all about joy, happiness, lightheartedness. So things are going well. But then Wednesday and Thursday, the truth is going to shock you. The tower is a major arcana card and therefore the impact that it has is always something that really kind of turns your world upside down. Now this can be positive or negative. The tower is actually sometimes a really good shock like winning the lottery, right? Or finding out that the person that you've had a crush on for a really long time likes you too. And you never thought that was possible because you believe that they were like 10 times more attractive than you or smarter than you or something like that. So the tower is actually a neutral card and it's just about shock. But beside your Thursday card, the five of swords, this is the card of defeat. So definitely your tower shock Wednesday and Thursday, it's going to be something that will kind of hurt you and kind of really make you feel crushed. And it's about this person that we're talking about. This King of Pentacles energy, who astrologically speaking could be a Taurus sun rising or Venus, because this is the card of Taurus or perhaps another earth sign for some of you. So Capricorn or Virgo. But either way, this is like a telenovela level of shock. Like you're going to find out that maybe this person is gay and they were using you to pretend that they're not like they're trying to start up a relationship with you so they can use you as some sort of a mask or maybe there is someone in your life maybe an ex bff that really hates you and maliciously wants to hurt you and they ask this person to manipulate you and pretend that they were interested in you only to embarrass you later on. So there is this negative, shocking energy towards the middle of the week. But the universe takes and the universe gives, right? Some things are just really unavoidable, some negative things. But the universe, in its fairness, tries to compensate or reward in other ways. And that's why this weekend, you're going to have a win. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you have the most amazing cards. Let's begin with a chariot. This is all about triumph, victory, and winning. In the imagery at the bottom left, the chariot is like a warrior. So you just endured a battle, right? But this is a warrior who comes home victorious anyway. Despite all the fighting, despite all of the pain that he or she endured, the chariot wins in the end so this is you winning at something else and what is that something beside the chariot is the queen of pentacles and pentacles is all about money this suit of pentacles is all about money so this is you like 
the imagery, the Queen of Pentacles, actually holding something tangible in your hand. This means winning at money or winning money. What's the difference? Winning at money means succeeding in your business or at work, getting a bonus, getting a promotion, getting a lot of clients, right? Winning money is literally winning money. Winning a raffle draw, winning the lottery, winning a competition, a contest where there's prize money. So it's going to resonate differently for each of you. You know, if you're someone who just joined a competition, so you know, whatever it is, it's going to turn out well for you this weekend, especially because your Sunday card, your final card is the Wheel of Fortune. So at the beginning of the week, there was a lot of negativity, bad luck for you, and that's all going to turn and fortune and luck are coming for you by the end of the week. So you just have to prepare yourself for that, that at the beginning, there's going to be some shock. There's this tower energy beside the Five of Swords. So there's no way that that's positive, but you come out the winner in the end because you win at another aspect, in another department of life, and it's going to be even bigger. The beautiful feeling that you're going to have towards the end of the week, it's going to be bigger and even more impactful than whatever pain that tower will bring because the tower is just one major arcana card. But in the weekend, you have two major arcana cards. You have the chariot and wheel of fortune. So whatever that pain is, the beauty later on, the happiness, it's going to be even better. So really, it's undeniable that there is something negative when it comes to love because you have a couple here, the king and the queen of pentacles. They're a married couple, right? So we're talking about a romantic relationship and there is the tower kind of, you know, in between them. So again, you just have to kind of prepare yourself and know that it's going to pass because towards the end of the week, the chariot and the wheel of fortune, victory and good luck are coming for you anyway when it comes to the money department. I hope this helped. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. If you chose the second card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. This week, you're going to learn what it means to be careful what you wish for because a wish is definitely going to come true during the beginning of the week but in the end that means you're going to have to say goodbye to something that you're not ready to say farewell to it's like you've always been praying for something but you never really thought about the consequences that it will bring something that kind of eluded your mind so monday tuesday this thing that you've been asking for, the universe, the divine, your God, your higher power, whatever it is, it is going to come true. With the emperor at the very beginning of your spread, we're talking about stability. Now this is a general reading, so stability, that word, will resonate differently for each of you. This could be stability in your finances, this could be stability in your health, in your romantic relationship. Whatever it is, it's being represented by the emperor. So if you look at this guy, top left, he is someone who's sitting on a throne, is wearing armor. He is just so solid, secure, and stable. This is the wish that you've always wanted to have, whether romantically or health-wise or materially. And on Tuesday, it's going to be granted. The star is the card of dreams coming true your prayers being answered. And it's because you've been begging for it for quite some time. If you look at the next two cards, it's the Six of Pentacles and Justice, top right. So this is something that you've been begging for. Do you see there's a beggar in the Six of Pentacles card? And what the universe is doing with Justice is finally granting it to you, finally handing you the wish that you've always had and you're happy if you look at the first row of your spread we have the emperor the star justice these are all major arcana cards that means the gratitude the thankfulness that you're going to feel the joy the elation it's going to be really big it's going to overwhelm you in a very positive way but then the weekend comes and you're going to realize for the first time what it means to have that wish come true. Like I said at the beginning of your reading, 
It means saying goodbye to a part of your life that you're not ready to turn your back on. The world. Friday. You're still on a high. You're still feeling amazing. But now you're actually looking at the bigger picture. If you look at the woman in the world, lower left of your spread, this is someone who's now looking at things from a different perspective. She's looking down and she's seeing it's amazing that I am where I am, that I can move on to a better job, that I can move to a different country, migrate perhaps. But this is what it means. I'm also saying goodbye to something good. With the King of Cups as your Saturday card, this is you realizing that this situation, this environment, this person that you've always wanted to leave, they weren't so toxic after all. It wasn't so imperfect or horrible because the King of Cups is the card of kindness and gentleness. And he's not the hottest of the kings, that's the King of Wands. He's not the most confident, that's the King of Pentacles. He's not the smartest, that's the King of Swords. But he is a king all the same. And he has a good heart and he has a good spirit. And this is you now realizing that if, for example, we're talking about a job. Yeah, the pay wasn't that good. I wasn't so appreciated. But the people were actually very kind. Like maybe not the management, but the people that you work with. They're actually very understanding and supportive and helpful. And now there's a bit of fear, a bit of sadness that maybe when you move on to your new job, the people won't be like that. Maybe they'll be hostile towards you. Maybe they're going to be envious or jealous or something negative, something toxic. So now there is this sadness, there is this fear. Or if we're talking about migrating to a new country, moving to a new city, this is you realizing that, okay, so this is an upgrade. This is amazing. My wish was granted, but the community was actually really tight knit. I had someone babysitting my kids or my dog or my cat when I was traveling. And in this new city, in this new country, what if I can find anyone like that to be there for me, to be my friend, to be my support, you know? It's that kind of energy where that's why you have as your final card the Five of Cups, right? Lower right. There's just that feeling of, yes, my wish has been granted. Because if you look at this guy wearing a black robe, there are two cups standing beside him. So that is your wish come true. That is your future. But instead, this weekend, you'll be focusing on your past present. Instead, you're looking at those three cups that have spilled. You're looking at what you have to say goodbye to. So there is going to be this depressive energy towards the weekend. And I suppose that's unavoidable. It's very human to worry about these things, to feel sentimental and nostalgic. But yeah, it will just really strike you towards the weekend. And even though Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, half of Friday, you're going to feel amazing and grateful and blessed like you're in a movie or like the hero in some book. You're just going to feel so amazing. But in the end, you will probably totally be unable to stop that negative thinking. And this is just your reminder from the universe to make sure you balance it out. It's okay to grieve, but don't forget to be excited for the next chapter of your life. So quite simply, this week is going to be life-changing for you in more ways than one. I hope this helped. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. If you chose the third card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. The theme of your week is freedom. Finally, you're going to be free. <laughs> At the beginning of your week, with the Hierophant and the Devil, you just feel so trapped. The Hierophant is the card of tradition. It's the card of routine. It's the card of something that you feel is always going to stay, is always going to be there, is always going to be all around you. But beside the devil, that's not something good. That's something negative, something toxic, something harmful that you feel will never leave your reality. And with the Eight of Pentacles by Wednesday, this is you, as before, 
trying to find a way, trying to devise a plan to escape this horrible reality. What do you feel is like your own, some sort of mental, emotional, spiritual prison. This physical environment that is just kind of suffocating you and making sure that you don't reach your potential somehow. Something that you feel is really harming you. This could be a romantic relationship. This could be a familial relationship. This could be your place of work or where you're studying, where you go to school to. Whatever it is, it is suffocating you. And by Wednesday, as always, as you have been doing, you are just sitting down like the Eight of Pentacles, trying to plan this and trying to plan that, trying to think of ways of how to leave the situation behind. But by Thursday, you are going to hit a roadblock. You are just going to feel like, no, I'm going to grow old in this situation. This is how it's always going to be. Because that is what the hermit is all about. The hermit is something long lasting, something that you do until you grow old. And sometimes that could be positive, but facing the devil and the hierophant, there's no way. We are talking about you feeling like you are forever trapped and you're kind of surrendering in a really sad way, just surrendering, like giving up and just thinking, okay, this is it. There's nothing I can do. I'm just going to tolerate this empty and endless slumber of a life that I totally hate, whatever the situation is, right? Financial or health-wise or romantic-wise, you by Thursday are just going to surrender and give up and think that this is it and there's nothing you can do. But then Friday, Friday is an amazing day always, isn't it? By Friday, you will receive an offer, a message from an earth sign in your life represented by the Page of Pentacles. This person definitely is an earth sign, not just because the suit of pentacles is the suit of earth, but also because you have all of the earth signs in your spread. The Hierophant is the card of Taurus, the Devil is the card of Capricorn, and the Hermit is the card of Virgo. So one of those people, this person is probably younger than you or younger at heart than you. Someone who is more lighthearted, more playful than you, they are going to give you this offer, this message of new hope. Whatever this is, it will bring you towards the Nine of Pentacles in the middle of your spread second row. The Nine of Pentacles is the card of material satisfaction. If you look at this woman, whether you're a boy or a girl, she is representing you in your future. This is someone who's so comfortable. Look at her just hanging out in her garden. Everything is yellow. Everything is about joy. Yellow is the color of gold, of material abundance and of joy and clarity and manifestation and lightheartedness. So this is something, this offer that the Page of Pentacles will bring you is something that will give you that Nine of Pentacles energy. That could be material or it could be romantic. This Page of Pentacles, this earth sign could be asking you out on a date, expressing their interest in you. And the Nine of Pentacles is you knowing, imagining, and feeling like in the future you are going to be so pampered and loved and cared for by this person. So whatever your situation is, by Friday, news will come, an offer will come that will take you away from this inescapable person or so you thought it was inescapable. But this is a new ray of hope that will offer to just open the prison doors and let you out. This is beautiful energy, Friday and Saturday. And this person is going to say, think about it. I don't expect you to come up with a decision immediately. And so you thought you're going to be pondering it for a really long time. But no, because you have been waiting for this opportunity for a really long time. So by Sunday, just one or one and a half days after you've been given the offer, you are going to accept it. So Saturday, Sunday, it's going to be an amazing day for you. The Queen of Cups is your final card. This is you again, whether you're a man or a woman. This is you sitting on your throne and looking at this offer, this chalice, this cup that has been given to you and just envisioning your future, your fate, your destiny, how beautiful, how bright everything is going to be. So Monday to Thursday, nothing much is happening except for you trying to escape and not thinking of any solutions and finally giving up on Thursday, but just one day after the hope, the answer to the prayer that 
you have always been waiting for and you thought was never going to come, it's going to finally arrive. This offer from an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, this is your chance to finally escape whatever reality it is that you feel so trapped in. And by Sunday, you're going to make it official. You're going to accept. And that is the first step towards a better new chapter in your life. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. If you chose the fourth card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. This week, love is finally coming for you and you're going to feel so scared, just so, so terrified because you're not used to it. It's something that you either haven't been expecting because you just gave up on it or it's because you're already with someone and you thought this was it, but now there's someone new and it's just making you feel so scared and nervous and confused and unsure of what to do. With judgment, the High Priestess and the Knight of Pentacles at the beginning of your spread, there is someone coming into your life and they're the one. The High Priestess, this is the card of your higher self. So we're talking about someone that your soul recognizes from your other lives, from your past lives. And beside judgment, this is the card of life purpose. This is the card of your true calling. So this person has been with you, allowing you, enabling you, encouraging you to really live out your life purpose and become your best self in all of those other past lives. And with the Knight of Pentacles here, this person is representing him or her. They didn't show up for a really long time. Maybe you're now in your late 20s or in your 30s, maybe even your 40s, and you had no idea that this person existed in this world with you because they're just showing up late. They didn't give you any clue before that they're here, that they're waiting for you. It's like you really thought they didn't exist with you on this plane, but now here they are. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest of the Knights. So now that they're finally here, you're going to feel very surprised because again, there was no clue that they were even here, that they even existed. But here they are, and they're offering you so much. The Knight of Pentacles is, of course, the card of Earth signs, but specifically Virgo. So that is your clue as to who this person could be. And the moment they enter your life, just immediately, they're going to make you feel so loved and seen and acknowledged and appreciated. They are going to enter your life this week, and by Wednesday, Thursday, you are just going to feel like you're on cloud nine. The Three of Pentacles, your Thursday card, top pride of your reading. This is about being put on a pedestal. This is about someone serenading you and writing poetry about you, or maybe just really complimenting you always, or looking at you in a really loving way. This is what's going to happen. And again, it's going to shock you because by Friday, you have the Nine of Swords. This is the card of anxiety. Because like I said earlier on in your reading, you're not expecting love anymore. And that could be because you are with someone and you thought they're your soulmate, or you've just given up on love for so many years now, you don't even think about it anymore. So by Friday, your reaction to this Knight of Pentacles entering your life, it's not positive. You're scared. So many things will be running through your mind. Am I ready for this? Do I have time for this? Am I even confident in how I look like right now? Am I ready at this phase in my life? What if it all comes crashing down? What if they're just pretending? What if they don't really like me? What if they're not really interested? What if they're just fooling around? All of these things just flooding your mind, all the negativity. You are just feeling so scared and that's why you're kind of self-sabotaging and imagining all the worst case scenarios in your mind. But by Saturday, your higher self is there supporting the Page of Swords, right? Above the Page of Swords is your best self and she or he is just really advising your mind, your conscious self to calm down, to just really think about it. If you look at the Page of Swords, he's about to attack the Nine of Swords. So he's like, shut up for a second. Forget about all of this negative, toxic thoughts and just allow yourself to breathe and really think of what this person could bring into your life. And that is why by Sunday, you are being represented by the Two of Swords. 
Yes, you are still thinking. Yes, you are still worried. I mean, look at this girl, right? She is meditating. She is really taking the time to think about her future. This is you, but now there's no fearful mindset anymore. There are two swords. That means this is equal. You're thinking about the pros and the cons of entering a relationship with this person. You're thinking about whether you will get hurt, but you're also thinking about what if it works out. So by Sunday, it's a very introspective, meditative day where you're just going to think about what the future could bring. But really, I'm telling you, it's going to be a major week. Love, and not just any kind of love, but the one, the best love, the right kind of love is coming for you this week around Wednesday, Thursday, and you are just going to be so scared at the start, but you will knock yourself out of this negative thinking. And in the end, you will be clear-minded and you will be using your intuition to really decide how you want to move forward with this person. And again, your clue as to who this man or woman could be, earth sign, specifically Virgo. I'm very excited for you. It's a life-changing week, but at the same time, it's going to really rattle your mind. I hope this helped. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care.